So today is day one in Bogota. The weather is pretty rubbish. Uh, well, I say rubbish. We're used to obviously 34 degree heat, catching turns, sunburning, basic white boys. But it's like 15 degrees and drizzling. And drizzling. So I've had to crack on the uh, the old tracky bottoms, the tracky bees. Um, so yeah, we're going to walk around Bogota today. Uh, we've got two days here, um, and then we're overnight busting it to Medellin. Medellin. Um, so obviously last night we saw Brie. Hopefully we're going to see her again tonight as well. Grab some food, um, and then play a local Colombian game. Yeah, I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name of it, but that'll be a later problem. But now uh, we've got to walk around what is, I think, a very unbelievable city. So yeah, let's go. good at Spanish but it turns out we're not so we ended up with this <laughs> uh, which is a massive I would say an array of meat a couple of baked potatoes um, we've also ordered beer at 11 o'clock in the morning um, what, how would you say it? two beers a Sprite and a hell of a lot of fruit um, so yeah we know that there's capybara on here and I think it's that one yeah. so we're gonna eat capybara so yeah massive guinea pig um, and yeah, we're just going to dig through this and, and see if it gives us the runs, I guess. Yeah, vamos. Hello everyone, as you can see I have a wonderful backdrop behind me. So we are 3,260-ish metres above sea level now. Um, it is considerably hard to breathe. Um, no nosebleed jet though, so we're on for a positive. So, where we are is at the top of Bogota. We can see the city down below us here. And what better way, and what better place to do this for Luke's fact of the vlog. Here it is. So your fact of the vlog for Bogota is that Bogota is the highest capital city in the world in terms of a a altitude. I think Amsterdam takes the other man to the highest capital city in the world. <laughs> What a great fact everyone, so I'm hoping you're enjoying these. Um, yeah, what a place, great views. Um, and we're gonna get some food up here and just chill out and enjoy the view, really. There's not a lot to do in Bogota, um, but I think go for lots of walks. So yeah, no, it's very nice to look at. this a go. Um, once again, Bree has sorted us out solid, so we're going to have a few beers, try and blow some stuff up. So yeah, I love Colombia. So you're gonna learn as much as me because I know absolutely nothing about Bogota. So here we go. So we're off to try 
try something called chicha, which is basically fermented corn booze, uh, which is actually illegal, uh, according to our tour guide. So, um, basically, massive war in Colombia uh, over beer. So, yeah, obviously, we're straight on that height. So, yeah, we're going to go try this chicha and see what it's all about. But we're going to have a toast that maybe most of you already know because we do the same all over Latin America. So please, oh, by the way, you don't have to drink the whole shot. You're gonna taste it. So please, take your cups and repeat after me. Pa arriba, pa arriba, pa abajo, pa abajo, al centro, pa centro, pa adentro. So what do you think? Better than expected? Not that good? Yeah, no, it's quite twangy. So if anybody wants more, I have here a couple more shots. The not market. the best, not the worst. <laughs> a real affluent man there, if I've ever seen one. And um, so, yeah, it's quite sour, but it's definitely fermented. <laughs> We've finished our walking tour, learned a lot. So I'm gonna hand you over to Luke Willard for the fun fact of the day. The fun fact of the day is that it's very common and traditional for Colombians to have cheese with their hot chocolate. And to them it's very normal. And they think everyone else in the world does it. But no, it's just a bit, a bit weird. But we're gonna go try some. Exactly, so as Luke says, we're now on our way to try some hot chocolate and cheese potato soup and loads of meats. Dish number one of our tour of Colombia is chicharinas, which is basically I'm gonna say pork fillet. Is it? Pork rind. Pork rind. So pork, rind, yeah. pork chop maybe. Yeah. Looks like this. So you've got obviously a little tortilla to put it in. That's the pork rind, spicy sauce and a lime. Let's go. Is that pepper? Meal number two of our tour of Colombia food uh, is the hot chocolate with cheese. So here is the hot chocolate comes with a block of cheese, which is like mozzarella, uh, a sweet cake, and a brioche bun. So you basically break this up, put it in, and, and then spoon it out. So let's give it a go. I can mean, smell it from here. That smells filthy. This little naughty number here is a, a Hago soup and it's, it's got potatoes, chicken, corn, a whole load of stuff. It's traditional. Put in some avocado and rice. And capers. And capers. So let's do that. It's basically rice and beans and chicken, some veg in there, wrapped inside a banana leaf, tuck on into the inside. Smash our way through the soup already. John, thoughts on the soup? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah? Soup? Yeah, yeah, it's good, good to share. Hot chocolate? Any good? Hot chocolate's good. I feel if I'm gonna go hot chocolate again, it'll be about the cheese. Really? Yeah, I just, I, for me, it doesn't, it's not bad, it doesn't add much. <laughs> So we've completed our Colombian food. My thoughts and feelings are, it's quite nice. It's all very similar though. Um, not as much like flavor and spice, but they've done the basics well. A lot of it is stodge, which to be honest, for us right now is probably exactly what we needed. Uh, Luke, how did you find Colombian food? I found it a lot easier to get down the Mexican food. Um, my spice tolerance yeah, is not the same. Yeah, spice there. Um, yeah, like John said, does the basics well. The chicken was nice, the rice was nice, potatoes. Got a really weird way of like combining different things, don't you think? 
Yeah, but it was good. So, and then there's one more person that had Colombian food today, and that is Liam Butler. So, how did you find Colombian food, Liam? Yeah, quite enjoyed it to be honest. There was a, the tamal with the one with the banana leaves and all the rice and chicken and stuff inside. That was my favourite. You can tell they cook everything for quite a long time. Everything's very soft, falls off the bone, easy to get through, and uh, quite big portions as well, which is always good for us. Um, yeah, no, enjoyed it on that. So that has been lunchtime. So for the rest of the day, it's quite simple. We are off to some museums. Luke wants to see the Gold Museum, which is one of the hotspots in Bogota. Liam wants to see the Military Museum. And you know, me being the massive artist, we're going to an art gallery. So yeah, uh, that's the rest of the day. Uh, enjoy the rest of the footage. night bus and we are off to where are we off to Liam? Uh, Medellin. Medellin which is obviously Pablo Escobar territory. Ten hours away. It's ten hours away. We thought it was four. We've made a massive error. <laughs> uh, but it's an open night bus. It's gonna take us ten hours the time it will leave at eleven thirty. We get to Medellin about half past nine in the morning. And then we've got a big day out tomorrow. So Luca how do you feel about sleeping on the uh, night bus? Uh, I feel like I won't <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be a big, yeah. big night ahead for Luca. Uh, but yeah, we're all ready to go. First night bus. We'll see you in Medellin. <laughs> 